is Diego. I'm here uh, with uh, my company Befaco. Uh, Befaco is a company that comes mostly from the DIY scene. We, we began making uh, workshops and DIY kits and recently we are also making assemble models. We are here in the super booth uh, showing our new modules, uh, the Rampage, the, the Crash Delay and, and Joystick and the a 10 b plus C. Yes, the modules we are introducing here at Superbooth are first the Rampage, uh, which is a function generator with complex, uh, a dual function generators with some complex uh, functions uh, like a, a logic, analog logic to mix uh, both channels. And you have uh, rising and falling gates uh, coming from these uh, envelopes and you can use it of course as an envelope, you can use it as an LFO and as an audio oscillator with some good tracking. You can use it as a processor for other CVs. You can process audio as a low pass filter. You can process CV as a slew limiter. And all of it is uh, under voltage control. So it's quite a multi Swiss knife uh, module for the Eurorack system. Uh, the main thing is uh, mostly envelope and LFO. These are the main things. But uh, it's also very useful as a slew limiter for a keyboard, maybe. You can have independent time when, it's, when you make, for example, portamento with it. You put your CV signal, your portable tape CV signal through it. Um, you can make portamento with independent time for rising and falling. So, for example, you can have a keyboard and you have portamento only when you're going up on the notes and not when you go down. Or, yes, you can make a, so, so, some filtering with it. Or you can smooth the, some waves, even audio waves or LFOs, to make new, new waves. These are the mine. Yeah, you have two separate channels, but then you have the combination of both in three ways, in three different ways. One of it is the maximum. You have like the maximum level of both, anytime. And you can, with the balance, uh, trim the volume of each before they go to the zooming state. At the same time, you have the minimum, which is the opposite of the maximum output, where you have like the, the down line of this uh, combination of two. You have any time, like the minimum time of both, also with this balance control. And uh, last, you have the A bigger than B bigger than A output, which is a, a digital out, like a gate out, which is uh, on all the time. B is bigger than A, so you can create gates from your envelopes or from your LFOs, you can trigger a third thing from your from the level of both the of both the envelopes or LFOs or also from external signals because it also works as a processor, not only a generator and device. Yeah yeah you can put some signals on it, some LFO for example, and extract for it the information of when it's rising, when it's falling and send a gate from these states. So you can also convert a sine wave to a square with this system, or you can just uh, detect movement on your, on your field. Yeah, the A times B plus C is like the perfect couple with the Rampage, because it's like a dual bipolar uh, BCA. And with it, you can make uh, a lot of things. We like the module that you can use in a lot of ways, like a very Swiss knife style. And you can, with this module, you can make a ring modulation. You can use it as a voltage control attenuator. You can use it as a manual attenuator. You can use it as a four-channel mixer all at the same time. If you don't plug any, any the, the channel one is uh, normalized to the channel two. So you don't plug nothing on the output of the channel one. You have uh, the, all the three inputs for the channel one going to the channel two. So it can work as a four-channel mixer with uh, two ring modulation in between, which can be very useful. For example, if you have uh, two VCOs, you can have the same time the mix of these two and two different ring modulation from different wave shapes. And the best is and the voltage control. You can, so you can, you can have dynamic uh, wave shaping mixing these two signals, for example. And it's a DC couplet, so the same you can do with audio, you can do it with uh, 
uh, CB control or any other signal on your, on your scene. Also, we are proud to introduce the crash delay. It has a very short uh, area where it works as a typical delay, and the other is like a, let's say, uh, audio sheet uh, generator. <laughs> but uh, all the sound you're hearing now is uh, come from, uh, if I put only the drive, it's just a sine wave going in, but uh, it's a crash delay, so we can put uh, the signal in uh, very, very low uh, sampling rate and begin to have all these aliasing nasty artifacts. The crash delay have uh, feedback uh, with, a, with a level controlled volume, so it never gets too crazy. You can just play confident because it never gets really crazy because they have a compressor inside. You have a dry wet, uh, speed control, and you have the uh, volume for with two inputs, with the voltage control volume. You have uh, like two VCAs inside to control the volume of the inputs. So any parameter you find here is under voltage control. And the chip inside is a classic uh, digital delay chip. It's called PT2399. It's a chip that was designed in the beginning for karaoke application and these kind of things. But it's very popular in the DIY scene because it's a one chip delay. And we was trying to give, give it a, a new ways of using, trying to explore the, the dark area of this chip. The parts the manufacturers say you cannot do. For example, some uh, power restoration on the bolts you can apply to the chip. So, so the chip is starving, don't have enough energy to work and you, have, you can have extra low -fi sounds. Or you can make it work in uh, slower delays than it's supposed to make. So you get this, uh, this, uh, how is this coming in English, sorry, this uh, down sampling effects. So you don't have enough samples per second and the sound gets destroyed. So it's more a distortion and a noise generator than a delay. Okay, this is a patch to demonstrate uh, the rampage and the crash delay, mostly. All the sounds you hear now come from a single sine wave. I will, I will remove this control just to show. This is the dry signal coming from, from our, our even VCO. It's just a sine wave going to a VCA, and from the VCA going straight to the crash delay. Uh, in the crash delay, we are controlling the same time with the different rampage. Uh, uh, used as uh, LFOs. We are controlling the speed of the crash delay and I controlling also by other side the dry wet control. This is the dry wet. So I'm having this uh, dry wet and also controlling the speed. So this parameter, this parameter I will control by hand just to show you. I'm just moving it with another LFO. And also, the crash delay uh, have some bendings, like circuit bendings, but inside of the module that uh, change the uh, legs of the, of the IC inside and make some mess on the circuit. And they are, of course, uh, volta voltage control, so instead of moving the switches and making that uh, bendings, you can plug a, a gate, in that case coming from the rampage, and make some switching of these uh, bend points, let's say. Uh, in our website, uh, it's uh, pefaco.org. You can find uh, information about uh, all these uh, modules and they are open source. So you not only can find uh, pictures of the modules, you can find the schematics to download and make them yourself. You can find information about our workshops to, that are in different cities in the world. So yes, all the information of the modules is uh, there because we really like show what is inside of the modules because we think this way people can learn how they work really and it's also a way of uh, spread uh, the ideas we also took from the internet. So, thank you. Thanks to you. Thanks to